Hi everyone and welcome back. So this time it's just going to be me talking about things that I recently went through. If you follow my social media, you probably know that I recently posted uh, two of my BMWs for sale, 2002 and 2003 BMW 325i. And uh, since then I've been getting a lot of weird emails and text messages and actually made a list of them and uh, most likely all of them are scams or fraud related so I really want to share these messages with you and uh, maybe somehow protect you from being scammed so let's begin okay so the first one is uh, I'm overseas at the military base and can only communicate by email cell phones are not allowed where I'm at and I don't mind to pay you your full asking price plus shipping I would send you your money via PayPal or wire transfer and will have my shipping, a shipping agent arrange vehicle pickup. So pretty much somehow he wants to pay you via wire transfer or PayPal. Well, first of all, it looks fishy because who would ever offers you, who offers you to pay your full asking price? People usually bargain, people usually want to get a best deal and get some kind of discount. So anyway whatever the scam is uh, this this is the one so let's move on to the next one okay this one is a uh, this one is interesting um, I like this BMW from what I see on the ad has this been dealer serviced which is pretty normal question nothing um, fishy and of course I responded and hear what the this person texted me back uh, that's good uh, could you tell me when was the last time the battery was changed and do you have a history report that you can send me? Which is a little weird who would ask about the battery um, Battery is probably the easiest thing you can replace on car But anyway, if that's what he wants I gave him an answer on that and also I attached the Carfax report to my message there where he can see the vehicle history And I got a message from him again. Thanks for your answer. I'd love to come to you but I have to know something more about your car. Do I need to put some cash into it if I purchase it? And did you get a history VIN check? Which is, I sent him a Carfax before in a previous message. I would really need some information that can be found on the vehicle history report. There are many out there like Carfax, but they are very expensive and I have had bad experience with them. I'd really appreciate if you would get a, a report from vincheckup.com because they are cheap and I've come to trust them. And he sent me a link of this, some kind of website of uh, vincheckup.com looking thing. And I clicked on it and it looks like I have to put in my address and my first and last name and the credit card information. So. Definitely, he wants to get your money, he wants to get your credit card information. Okay, so the next one was kind of weird. There was a text message. I got uh, three identical text messages within probably four minutes. And here what it looks like. Do you accept trades? I have a Tacoma for trade. And I got three identical messages. So I don't know where the scam is in this message, but uh, that's weird. Let's move on to the next one. And this one is actually an email. Here's what it looks like. You got an offer on your vehicle. Follow the link and log in to review it. And there is a link attached in this email that looks like a kind of Craigslist website, but uh, the Craigslist was a little bit different. The spelling was a little bit different. And when you click on a website, it's all blurry and it sends you to login menu for you to put in your email address or your Craigslist account and your password so it looks like somehow they're trying to get you to get your uh, Craigslist account from you let's see if I have another one okay so this one is interesting <laughs> I came across your ad on Craigslist do you have a clean title in hand some of my messages uh, have not been making it through on here, so I would like um, I would like you to send a message and reply to this email. And here's the email. 
Ray Bird 674 at and at is actually spelled at gmail underscore dot com and dot com is actually spelled as well so I also got three or even five messages like this and I actually dig a little bit into it, so they try somehow to get your information, um, either your real email address or some kind of other contact info from you, another way of uh, scamming people. Okay, there's another one like this. Um, what is the least amount of money you would take? And this is actually the text message. And do you have a spare key and a tire? So this is the first message. Well, I get it. People are trying to bargain. People are trying to get the best discount possible. And they're asking you how much money you would take for it. The least amount of money you would sell your car for. But uh, this is kind of weird. Uh, in the same message, he's wondering if I have a spare key or a spare tire. Who really asks that in the first place? Who really starts the conversation like this? I mean, I think spare tire and spare key is the last thing people ask. But anyhow, so I sent him a, re a response and here's what he texted back to me. There are a lot of scams going on on Craigslist, so please confirm that you're not a robot. Well, I'm not a robot, but here's what's going on next. I will be sending you a Google confirmation code, so please send it back to me as soon as you get this. Pretty much the same thing he sends you the google confirmation number that you need to type in into a certain field in the website that he provided you and again he getting your ip address or your email address or some kind of information again so another weird way of scamming people and uh, sometimes they actually get creative trying to get some kind of information from you but you know my advice is just to be uh, aware of uh, things like that and just be attentive look for weird misspelling weird languages uh, or phrases they might turn you off and uh, just to check for red flags and uh, do some research and remember that the best way to sell something is to actually meet in person and do the deal in real life not online so i hope this video was helpful and uh, you get something positive and useful out of it and uh, i'll see you next time